So do you do any kind of machine learning now on the on the rover? Like, is that is that even possible with the the hardware you have? Or and, and if you have a Snapdragon on the on the helicopter, it seems like you could do some in that or, or try to do some. Is it, so is there any happening, or is it is it mostly kind of older techniques for now? Yeah, a lot of it is human in the loop, but there are you know some elements of autonomy both in terrain classification. So mm-hmm. we had been doing a, a number of work to take newer modern algorithms. So the interesting part is DevOps at the edge where the edge is Mars, right? Right. right. <laughs> you know, you know, we talk about the edge today in the cloud or in IoT and you know, so it's DevOps. So what you test terrestrially, you gotta make sure that, you know, we can uplink it and port it, you know, to again these older devices and in some cases devices that were deployed almost eight years ago, like Curiosity um, yeah. and things like that. And so we have been working on that. There is an algorithm called Spock. <laughs> again, uh-huh. Star Trek names, <laughs> you know, but this is a soil property object classifier. It's like a terrain classifier, and we can run that on the older devices, you know, obviously. The tricks with that are, you know, you don't have a GPU, you know, you may have to quantize the models, trade for, you know, accuracy and performance and things like that within acceptable bounds. And so a lot of these things are for human subject matter expert review or for mission tactical ops review with human in the loop. The more in the future we can get that out of the loop and more autonomous decisions, we're going to need it. And I'll, I'll say one quick example. The next mission is called Mars Sample Return in the program. And the basic idea is this, this big car sized rover driving around Perseverance, one of the things it does is it's coring rocks and it's gonna drop tubules of those cored rocks as it drives over the next N years. In the next N years, we'll be building in partnership with ESA, the Fetch Rover, which is more of a couple tricycle size rover that has to drive farther and faster because it's gonna have to go pick up all those tubules, make it to a rendezvous point, take those tubules, fly them up out of the Martian atmosphere into space to a spacecraft and then take that spacecraft back to Earth. Yes, that's ambitious, but we're, you know, NASA JPL. Thanks for watching this clip. You can see the full episode on our YouTube channel. And you can join our friendly Slack community with over 4,000 ML engineers to participate in paper reading groups, AMAs, and other fun events.